Hey you guys, so all these earthquakes, tsunamis, end of the world stuff, it's happening, right? You know what? I don't know. Anyone that tells you that they know the day of the end of the world is lying. Or they've been too boggled up with theology and they mix it all up. Because you know what? Jesus himself said that no one knows the end of the world. Not even him or the angels, but only the Father knows the day of the end of the world. Is the end of the world coming? Yes. Does this look like birth pains? It does. I don't know if it is though. What am I gonna do? First, I'm not gonna be afraid. I just refuse to live in fear. I am at peace because I have a relationship with God and I hope you do too. I have been reconciled with my Father through Jesus Christ. That's why if the world, if the end of the world is today, universally, I can go in peace knowing that me and my family are saved. But what if I die tomorrow? I mean, the end of the world for me can be today. So I have to have my life in order. So a verse that I want you to read is in Daniel 12, the book of Daniel, he's a prophet. He was revealed so much information. And in the book of Daniel 12, the, the chapter is called the end of the world. The worst trouble the world has ever seen. Pretty scary, right? It is kind of scary. I mean, this is saddening. I don't want to minimize it. I just refuse to live in fear. But Daniel 12, 12 says, Blessed are those who patiently wait and make it through the 1,335 days. I know what you're going to ask. When is that? When does it start? When does it end? Again, I don't know. And I won't pretend to know. But you know what? Daniel didn't know either. What Jesus was trying to tell him comes in the next verse. Blessed are those who wait patiently, make it through the 1,335 days, and you go about your business without fretting or worrying. Relax. When it's all over, you'll be on your feet to receive your reward. What is God saying? I'm going to give you an example. It's the finals, okay? The Warriors against the Cavs. Four minutes left in the game. They're tied. A player cannot focus on the clock. Because if he focuses on the clock, he'll miss his target, which is the basket. He won't be able to make his three-point shot because he's, he's too worried about the time. And that's what Jesus is saying here. Don't focus on the last minute and every single sign. Just know that it's coming. But you're going to stay faithful. You're going to be patient. You're going to have your house in order. You're going to have your relationship with God in order. So when the end time comes, be it today or in 15 years, you're going to receive your reward. So don't fret. Stop worrying about those little itsy bitsy signs or is this or is not. We don't know. But we do know that Jesus Christ is the answer. So I want to present him to you. Let him be your savior. He's ready. He's willing. But it's up to you. If you want to live in peace, if you want to know that you're going to have a reward of eternal life in heaven, receive him. Not out of fear, but because of love. He loved you. He loved me. He died on the cross to give you love, not to instill fear. And if you're already a believer, then don't fear. Let's go save the rest. Let's go look for them and remind them that Jesus Christ is the answer and we're not looking at the clock. We're looking at, at heaven. God bless you guys.